Ramjets have been around for over a century, and they're one of the most successful supersonic jet engines ever created. They have never been used in projectile warfare because of one primary reason. They cannot function on their own without first reaching supersonic speeds. However, after years of development and over 450 preliminary tests, the US Army has unveiled the Ramjet 155, a weapon set to shatter the limits of long-range precision fire. But for something once thought impossible, how did the Army put a ramjet engine on a projectile? Boeing, in collaboration with Norwegian defense company Namo, has achieved an impressive first fire test of its ramjet 155 shell. This revolutionary projectile has piqued the interest of the United States military, as it can reach supersonic speeds, destroy targets with laser-guided accuracy, and travel further than any other conventional artillery shell on the planet. Essentially, the Ramjet 155 combines the accuracy of guided artillery with the power of a missile, making it much more destructive. Its air-breathing engine ignites after launch, propelling the shell to reach mind-blowing speeds. With its intelligent guidance system and unprecedented range, the Ramjet 155 is an excellent example of a projectile that can be used to create a new era of artillery supremacy. The projectile is set to redefine the very meaning of artillery, it's no wonder the U.S. military and the arms industry are excited at the prospect of such game-changing technology. If the shell's final testing phase succeeds, everything points to an incredible shift in artillery weaponry. Ramjet engines trace their origins back to the early 20th century, when visionaries like René Lauren first proposed the concept in 1913. However, it wasn't until the 1940s that significant progress was made primarily driven by military demands for high-speed propulsion during World War II. German engineer Paul Schmidt conducted pioneering work, developing the Lippisch P-13A, one of the earliest ramjet-powered missiles. Concurrently, efforts in the United States and the United Kingdom also advanced ramjet technology for applications like the Navajo cruise missile and the Hawker Siddeley P-1127. But how does a ramjet engine work? The ramjet is an air-breathing jet engine that produces thrust solely from the engine's forward motion and the air rammed into the inlet. Unlike conventional gas turbines, ramjets have no rotating parts or compressors. Instead, the engine relies on ram compression, where the incoming air is compressed due to the vehicle's high speed. The ramjet's front intake captures and compresses the oncoming airflow using the vehicle's speed. This compressed air then enters the diffuser section where careful shaping of the internal flow path further slows and compresses the airstream, increasing its pressure and temperature. In the combustion chamber, fuel is injected and ignited with high pressure and high temperature air from the diffuser. The resulting combustion process adds significant energy to the airflow through heat. This hot, high pressure gas mixture is then accelerated rearward through a carefully designed nozzle at the back of the engine. As the gases are accelerated through the nozzle, their heat energy is converted into kinetic energy, generating thrust that propels the vehicle forward. The nozzle shape is critical as it must efficiently convert the high-pressure combustion gases into a high-velocity jet for maximum thrust. Ramjets offer critical advantages due to their mechanical simplicity and efficiency at supersonic speeds. With no rotating parts, they are relatively lightweight and have fewer moving components than turbine engines, reducing weight, complexity, and maintenance requirements. However, this simplicity has a significant limitation. Ramjets require an initial forward motion to operate and produce thrust. They cannot generate thrust from a standstill and must be boosted to operational speeds by another propulsion system like a rocket or turbine engine. Once at supersonic speeds, typically around Mach 2 to 3, ramjets become highly efficient. The ram compression process provides a greater compression ratio without the need for rotating compressor blades, making them well suited for applications like high-speed missiles, drones, and experimental aircraft where ultimate speed is prioritized over other factors like fuel efficiency or low speed operation. If you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome military content just like this. While the Ramjet 155 projectile looks like a new concept, this is not the first time a weapon like this has been conceptualized. 
Back in 1915, a Hungarian inventor named Albert Fon had a genius idea of a new projectile that could extend the artillery range by combining a gun launch projectile with a ramjet propulsion unit. This revolutionary concept would allow for long-range strikes with heavy shells, all while using relatively lightweight guns and low muzzle velocities. Fon's ingenuity knew no bounds, and he wasted no time submitting his groundbreaking invention to the Austro-Hungarian army. However, the army's top officials failed to recognize the immense potential of such a weapon. They rejected his proposal, leaving his innovation to die without seeing the light of day. Years later, the Soviet Union eventually delved into ramjet-powered artillery shells when engineer Leonid Merkulov used artillery guns to test his first ramjet engine prototypes. His experiments produced a phosphorus-fueled ramjet called GERD-08 in 1933, which was tested by launching it from an artillery gun. Even with the success of these tests, the experimental artillery shell proved to have limited efficiency, and the Soviets were more concerned with producing ramjet aircraft and long-range missiles, leaving the technology in the dark once again. Finally, in 2019, the old application was resurrected and adapted to the technology of a new era. In response to the U.S. Army's XM-1155 Extended Range Artillery Projectile Program, Boeing and Norwegian defense company NAMO embarked on a journey to revisit the idea to meet the long-range precision fire requirements of the U.S. Army. Their combined efforts led to the Ramjet 155mm projectile, the new holy grail of compact, high-velocity, and extremely long-range projectiles. The weapon was conceptualized and designed to meet the United States Army long-range precision fire requirements. The shell proposed by Boeing and NAMO manages to comply with the U.S. Army's requirement for increased range and speed, while also providing an affordable and easy-to-make ramp to maintain solution, as a ramjet engine does not have any significant moving parts, such as a compressor or a turbine. The Ramjet 155 uses a solid rocket booster to accelerate it to supersonic speeds, where the ramjet engine can take over and sustain its flight. Depending on the launch angle and the launch platform, the shell can reach speeds of up to Mach 3 and ranges of up to 100 kilometers. According to Dan Palmeter, capture team lead for the Boeing Phantom Works ramjet program, the ramjet 155 achieves longer distances and much greater speeds due to its lack of an onboard oxidizer. But that's not all. The projectile also has a GPS-guided fuse system that adjusts a trajectory to hit its target. The Ramjet 155's intelligent guidance system can change its flight path, lock on to designated targets using laser or infrared signals, and strike with devastating lethality and unparalleled accuracy. The Ramjet 155's design and functionality also solve the problem of worn out gun tubes, as the technology can reduce barrel wear and extend tube life by reducing propellant mass and peak pressure. As such, the shell meets the U.S. Army's range and speed requirements and provides the U.S. military with an affordable solution that will make their artillery guns last considerably longer on the battlefield. The development program is still ongoing and will culminate with a guided flight and endless possibilities. The Ramjet 155 could answer the Army's long-range precision fire modernization priorities as it's designed to meet the needs of the AL-39 and AL-58 cannons. It's also expected to revolutionize the U.S. Army's long-range precision fire modernization. As a first of its kind, the Ramjet 155 will usher in a new era of projectile warfare. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos.